Sparkling with lemon. Thanks. How are you? I'm fine. How's your book? My book? Um, are you kidding me? I don't want to talk about my book. I, um... Well, I don't know what to say. How was your trip? Is it... Can I get you guys anything else? Have an Americano, please. Okay. An espresso for me, thank you. Espresso? Yeah, I can't stay long. Thanks. Well, what are you doing here? I'm in a good place. Now, it took me a long time to get here. And of course, you decide to materialize now. I'm doing really well at work. I'm dancing. They're like myself again. And I'm dating. Dating? You want me to suffer, okay. I deserve that. What are you doing here, Mark? Why now? I couldn't stop thinking about you. You were in my every thought, and every time I tried to push you out of my head, something else would remind me of you. You know, I am... Um, I swear I'd see you across the street. I am... Um, I crossed the street to greet a woman once. And every time I closed my eyes, you were there and I would wake up in pieces. I was a wreck. It was like there was a, um, a dark void around my soul. It's like I was falling, I was falling. Mark, what I... are you talking about? You left me. I'm... Um... But what? You said you loved me. How can you do that? It's wrong. I shouldn't have. But you did. You disposed of me like a one-night stand. Like I was nothing. Like I, like I didn't matter. Not nothing. You were something special. You, you were everything. Then why? Why did you leave? I just had to. Mark, you... You really hurt me, OK? You disappeared. No one phone call, not a text, not a letter, nothing. Sometimes I even wonder if you were alive. I, I was in pieces. I was confused and heartbroken and, and, and so angry. I, I didn't know what I had done for you to treat me like this. I thought I was good to you. You were amazing to me. And then I blame myself. I doubted myself so much. It took me a long time to get to where I am now. I went to really dark places, places nobody should ever see. I really loved you, and I thought you loved me too. I really did. I did love you, and I am... Um, still good. Why did you leave? I had to. You didn't come all the way here not to talk, did you? 
I needed space. Well, you get plenty of it now. I needed space, and now that I have space, and I miss you. But I had to leave, you know, I, I couldn't see anymore. It's like I didn't even know what was causing gravity. I had to leave, and I know it was wrong, but I had to escape the misery I was feeling, and I did not want to be a burden on you, so I left. You didn't have to be alone. You could have talked to me. I asked you so many times to get help, and I tried to help you. I, I could have been there for you. I could have taken you care of you. You were there for me. You know, we were, we were living in unprecedented times. The world was upside down, but I... I know I wouldn't have survived until I did if I didn't have you. Why did you push away the one thing that was going well in your life? I needed space to think, to see if I could be myself again outside of you. I guess I am, um, I guess I wanted to sink to the bottom just to see if I would wake up because it all got too much. The thing was so heavy and I couldn't take it anymore. And the, the distance between us, you know, we'd walk the streets and you wouldn't say anything. And at first that really bothered me, but eventually I am, um, I preferred it that way. Broke me. Changed me. Do you think it wasn't hard for me? What, do you think I wasn't depressed? That I could at least see it in all the darkness. You were my light, Mark. And without you, I'd be far worse. And instead of giving in, I'd get help. Because if I didn't, I'd lose you. At first, you were absolutely that light, and you were like an angel through it all, but it felt like I was in a tunnel, and you were at the end of it. You were shining, glorious, and my vision just got smaller and smaller until I couldn't even see you anymore. You know, we'd be talking, and it's like I wasn't even there. I could see was just... It's darkness. It's like a um, cloud veil. Just, William, please try and understand. Did I, did I do that to you? I'd like to think so. Did you get help? I could be it on my own. Now, maybe if I remove myself from my circumstances, maybe the darkness would lift and I'd be me again. But I kept sinking, and the absence of you made everything worse. And I wanted to call you so much. I couldn't. I, I didn't want to be a burden on you. You deserved better, and I wanted to be better for you, for us, for our plans, and... I just hope you don't hate me. Because I know I failed you, but I hope you can please forgive me. He didn't fail me. I just wish you had talked to me, Mark. I had some dark moment where you were gone. I... I couldn't focus at work, I couldn't eat. I never felt that way before. It was scary. I was a mess. And at the same time, I was so mad at myself for missing you so much. Well, you were just going on with your life. Complete disregard for me, for us. You know, sometimes I would scream out your name, just in hope you could hit me somehow. And all the time, I better get out of bed. If you had just texted me, called me anything, any explanation would have given me a relief. I'm trying to do that now. You know, I knew I loved you, but I didn't know how much until I left. It's still there, you know, it's, it's always been you and it is still you. 
what, why is it that people need to lose something in order to value it? Look, please don't go yet. Do you, um, do you remember the first time we came here? Yeah. One of our first dates. Our second date. Can I see you again? I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea, okay? I need, I need to process all of this, so I'll call you when I'm ready. Leah, come back to me. You didn't answer my question. Did you get help? I think you know the answer to that. I wished and rehearsed this so many times in my head. Even sometimes I wasn't even aware I was doing it. This is exactly what I wanted since the day you left. I can't. The separation was unbearable. I, I can't go through this again. I felt like I was split open. I, I wished and rehearsed this, and, and I hoped and I wanted you to come back this entire time. I never left us. But no. Mom, the issues are still here. You didn't get help. So, yeah, okay, maybe you, you might feel better now, but how do I know you won't spiral again? You're right. You deserve better and I will get help, I promise you. You broke all your previous promises. But Leah, please, you... You have to forgive me. You know, I've done a lot of soul searching and I know I want to be with you and please don't do this to avenge me. To avenge you? Mark, you, you broke my heart, okay? You can't just walk back in here like nothing happened. You betrayed me. I never betrayed you. Oh, so you think breaking someone's trust is not betrayal? You said I was safe with you. I trusted you and you ripped that apart. Mark, you need help, okay? You need therapy. Well, writing a book is not therapy. And traveling and bad hoping is not therapy. You don't know what it's been like. I've heard whispers. Well, maybe, Leah, you did do that to me. Maybe you were suffocating me, always wanting to know where I was, what time I was going to be home, because you've always had this unfounded jealousy that I know has nothing to do with me, because I have always been completely devoted to you. And maybe to make you feel comfortable and reassured, maybe I was just feeding your insecurities. It got to the point where I didn't know where I ended, and you began. And I began to question everything. I wondered if being with you was the right thing to be. You know, I had to sacrifice so much. Sacrifice? And Mark, nothing is permanent in your life. Because you're so afraid you're going to miss the next best thing. You, you said you wanted to marry me. And then you run away. Because you wanted to protect this precious life. The life where you think sitting alone in a bar is some sort of curate act. And now you come back six months after your disappearing act because you want to be that same hero and save me from my sorrow? Well, guess what? You're not a hero. You're just afraid. Afraid to change, afraid to be vulnerable. Be like every guy out there. I regret leaving you like that because I tried so hard to be the perfect man for you and always wondering if I was doing it right. You know, was I, was I satisfying you? Was I 
taking care of you? Was I loving you the way you wanted to be loved? Was there anything I could have done different? And why weren't you letting me know on the spot? Because I have always changed and adapted who I am to make you safe and comfortable. And I would keep doing that forever. But Leah, you are not perfect. You know, you, you shut down when you're angry and you push me away. And yes, things weren't the same, but I am sorry for leaving you. I truly am. It's not that you left. It's how you left me. I regret leaving you like that. I wanted to talk, but I was afraid you would convince me to stay and we would work it out. And I had nothing left to give. I came back because of you. We deserve another chance. I don't know. I don't know if we can go back there. I don't know if I can trust you again. I don't know if I can be safe with you. Mark, we, we can't keep hurting each other. I don't know. I don't know, and I have to go. And I'm late, and I'm a mess now. Take this. I wrote this to you the morning I left. I, I, I didn't want to be that guy. I wanted to call, but I was drifting and Time passed, things changed, and I thought I had lost you, but I am here now, and you have every right to be pissed off, but before you dismiss us, you, you read that. I keep trying to picture my life without you, and I can't. I want you there. And I think you want me too.